I know this is gonna be a game, some type of challenge, but this title though has got me very curious, so we have to watch this. This is a 20 minute video, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right to it. Easy and Natalie uploaded a video called If we break up, I want to date your stud friends. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, let's just get to it. Are y'all ready? Cause I am. Let's get it. If we broke up, do we have a plan B? No, I, like I literally like who you would go to next, like who you would date next. Ew, girl, what? What? Ugh. I'm gonna compliment Easy and her style. I'm gonna say this. Her jacket, loving the fucking jacket. It looks like it's suede, but it's got those colors of that 90s vibe. And her hat, her hat, I'm loving that too. But, but, but this though. I like nose rings, but, but why? Girl, that looks like you have a booger coming out of your nose. No, is this the style now? Please, please do not say this is the style now. Oh my God. All right, let me stop talking shit. Let's watch this video. Oh, hell no. No, hell no. I'm a little more practical. Like, I literally have plan Bs. I don't know how I'll go back to the We're not going Yes. That nose ring is distracting. Oh my God. Okay, this is gonna be the last time I talk about it. I promise, but, ooh, it's distracting. Oh, stop. Yes, we are. It's a question. It's fun. Honestly, my plan B would probably be Amber, Amber's closet, and then my plan C would probably be Stevie. I would have Krista in there, but she's married. What? What's up, Easy Gang? Okay, look, really quick before Easy comes in. All right, right now we are about to film a challenge, real quick, where we are basically answering your question. She sent you guys a text message asking you, What will we do if we broke up? All right, but what she doesn't know is I'm going to throw a little curveball into those questions, and I'm basically going to say that I would date her friends if we broke up. And we're going to see her real reaction. She is not going to even expect it. So do not worry about the next little intro that we're gonna do with little Tink Tink because she does not know, okay? The game. What's up, me, CK? on YouTube and if you're new I'm young easy what up I'm Natalie O'Day what up we are best friends right now why do they keep why do they keep saying that come on why are we so insane I freaking love it a lot of friends become lovers it's, it's not unique it ain't different well I guess it is because it was being filmed this whole time I I give it to you <laughs> guys welcome 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 okay so today it's about to get hot and spicy y'all I love these challenges they keep requesting us to do I know honestly I have more fun like doing challenges with you than pranking you yeah I don't know I don't know oh that's a tough one because pranking you is extremely fun to do it <laughs> but I love being able to interact with you and <laughs> okay, so today's challenge that they have asked us to do, which will never happen, my guy. Ever. 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 We're doing the what if we break up challenge. Natalie, tell them what this challenge is. It's getting time to do. We basically ask you guys to ask us questions about. So wait, is this a new challenge? Did you guys make this up? Or has this been around for a while? Cause I've never seen one of these. So if y'all if y'all thought of this, it's a good idea. What if we broke up? What would happen? Yeah. Like, what are your concerns and stuff? Yeah. Because as you know, yeah. a lot of YouTube couple pages out there, they don't be lasting. They, they do not. No, they'll last maybe a year or two. Facts. And then the fans end yeah. up having to go through heartbreak with them That's as a fact. they part ways. So, yeah. But the thing is, remember, we're not a YouTube. They don't last because all they do is film. And when you film, it doesn't matter if it's a vlog, it's not real. These vloggers, these YouTubers have to entertain. 
Because one day one person wants to film and the other one doesn't. One day they get into an argument and they don't feel like filming but they're gonna force it before they can even fix anything. This is why a lot of relationships don't last. Couple, I mean we might have got together on YouTube but we best friends today. Yeah, day. Yeah. At the end of the day, we're yeah. right <laughs> Alright, so let's get into it. I'm actually feeling quite inquisitive on what you're actually gonna say. Guess you'll find out. Let's get into it. All right. So the first question. Here we go. If we broke up, who would move on first? Ooh, Natalie for sure is moving on first, bro. Cause I love her more. I, I would lie. never move on. Let me tell y'all why. She why? Move on Easy word. What? Easy word. She would move on first, but it would be a facade. Okay. She would probably be traveling, <laughs> living it up. She'd be in the club if COVID's over. For sure. She'd have all kind of girls. I there. agree. That is exactly how she is, though. She she's like those like those memes where the guy tries to cover, cover up how he really feels. Okay. It's not that to get over somebody, you have to get under somebody else. Y'all heard that before, and this is what Easy does. And you can tell this is how Easy handles breakups. Okay. Whatever. I think this should right. move on first. I ain't got a long explanation. <laughs> Nothing like wrong with it. I just think she would because I never move on. Okay. <laughs> All right, the next question is, if we broke up, who would take the YouTube channel? Ooh, Easy. Easy. Damn, I Oh, you know what? I don't know. If they remain friends, which can be hard depending on how they break up, they can still be partners. But when they do get into other relationships, their significant other ain't gonna be cool with that. So one of y'all gotta take it. Think about that. Mm. I mean, if we if we broke up, that's the challenge. I just gotta accept it because it's hard for me to even say that because y'all know me. Girl, just answer the damn question. No. Shit. Uh -huh. We know okay, it's so a game. I, do, I honestly would be like, look. We built this YouTube channel together. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So if I tried to continue this by myself or she tried to continue it by herself, I feel like it will flop because that's not why people subscribe to us. We're at 600 mm -hmm. Almost 600 k Get 600 Okay. But I feel like the negotiation, because there's still a fan base, I will ask you, you know, you could post on there, I could post on there, we can have different stuff, but then again, we have our own YouTube channels already to do that. <laughs> I probably, well, we probably have it. to figure it out. Yeah. Or what we could do is probably use it as like a promotional channel. Oh, okay. For both yeah. of our separate stuff that we're doing. That's a good idea. It's yeah. complicated. It's, ever, ever. it's complicated. Question. Okay, so next question is, if we broke up, would you take everything you gave each other back? You better not. That is so petty. It's so petty. I would not do that. You yeah. better that's, not. That's like high school. Yeah. That's high school. I, I would do, I wouldn't, I would consider in high school, but I never thought about it. But only because I taught myself an Indian giver is messed up. If the person I was dating turned into that, yeah, that pettiness, that uh, child that's was ugly. like, oh my God. That's ugly. God, I got the bullet. And that that's means they only got it for, what did they get it for? They didn't get it to actually make you happy or they thought you liked it. They got Let it me ask you something, I got a good question. Okay, go. If we broke up, don't say it. That's the next question. I already the, know. The, the watch? You still wear the stuff. Oh. Loud and proud. Yes. Would you be on Instagram with it? I'll you be, should. I'll, I'll still wear I'm not gonna life. lie. I'm not gonna lie. For the first couple of months, I probably would. I probably. It depends. That's immature, though. Come on. These items were meant to be worn, meant to be used. And if you like those items, go ahead. I have no issue with my with my girl wearing something that their ex gave them. I didn't get much from my exes, so I don't really got shit to wear or use. Okay. But I had no problem with that. Oh, we broke up because if we broke up and I did something to you, which would never happen, but if I did something to you, I possibly would like. All right, like I would still wear it. But if you did something to me. Even if I really, really liked it, I would give it at least like uh, six months to a year to wear. That's petty. <laughs> so hopefully I forgot about you by now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then it's just like, all right, it just obviously That's so I'm not gonna throw my shoes away, my Jordans. Nah, if they're Jordans, I don't care. I'm wearing them. Rock them. If it's the Yagas, the Yagas, I'm wearing them too. Rock them. I'm wearing them too. But if it's like a chain that obviously you bought me, like you know those sentimental things, I probably six months to a year. Like, I'm wearing it. See, now that is different. A sentimental gift, like jewelry. I think you should stop wearing something like that when you are in a committed, serious relationship with somebody else. Your new partner really does not want to look at your necklace around your neck every day, knowing that 
an ex gave that to you. Like, damn, it's, it's that sentimental? That precious to you that you gotta wear it every motherfucking day? Come on. I don't care. I'm not gonna bust down Rolex, some bust down earrings, a bust down diamond bracelet, a bust down necklace. She gotta bust down everything, and everything I get her is like, it's fly, so you gotta wear it. I'm gonna act like I'm not offended by you acting like the stuff I get you is not fly. Next question. Oh my God. No. Well, first off, we're not gonna move on because I was just saying the sentimental stuff. Like, all right, let's just move on. Okay. Nah, you weren't saying sentimental stuff. You were saying materialistic shit. Okay. This is why I'm a little bit nervous about this relationship. Next question is if we broke up, who would keep the money? The money? What money? Of the, from the channel? I mean, that's an easy question. Yeah, that's an easy question. Yeah, neither yeah. of us. The, we wouldn't have started a business with each right. other if we felt like we couldn't trust that yeah. with each other. Like, yeah. Even, even, if, even though. It really doesn't have to do with trust. Legally, you would have to somehow figure it out. Give me half or I'm gonna take you to court. Anything, yeah, there's just, because we are our own individual brands and I feel like because we're so mature, I think that's, like we don't even have to think about that. Yeah. Like, oh, who's gonna get the money? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. Isn't it's like, it's like that. barely clear what was made together and what was exactly. made separately. So yeah. we would just split it. the stuff that was made together. If we- Y'all, it has nothing to do with maturity when it comes to that. You don't know how many mature people break up and they can't agree on what to split and they cannot agree with who takes what. Things get emotional. Who caused the breakup? Ooh, this one's tough. This one's tough. I'm gonna say easy, cause easy is very social, very friendly, and I feel like when she gets to drinking, I don't know. I think she might fall into temptation, and she's gonna feel like shit the next day. But I feel like easy would fuck up. I don't like me. Natalie, you really wanna cause it for sure. <laughs> Gang. What? Look, I feel like me and Easy Gang are here right no, now. No, first I'm here with you. I'm here with you. We can't. We can I guess we can't really answer that. Y'all are the ones that are gonna answer that question. Come okay. on, Come on. Come I already did. It'd be her. For sure. Who would it be? Next question. All right. If we broke up, who gets the dogs? Oh. Well, that's obvious. I Ooh. do. What is obvious about that? Oh, the boys. We're talking about what? They're easy dogs. We were the my dogs. <laughs> we would have to split custody. <laughs> <laughs> They're what? easy dogs, okay. yo. First of all, why did you not ask me <laughs> okay. to co-parent with Pluto? Did you not ask me? First of all, I, I co-parent. I said co-parent both of them, boss and Pluto. Yeah. First of all, don't don't have a favorite. You cannot have a favorite, Nat Nat. Come on, treat them both equally. Oh, you would always call me boss's stepmom. I did. And then, but you call he me became a, No, he be, you became his real mom. So what is so funny that when I say we would split custody? Huh? What's so funny? Exactly. <laughs> right, split she proved her point. Them babies. Oh, okay. Well, I'm like, I'm like, I like that. I like that you said that. You know? mm -hmm. I'm gonna come and pick him up and take him to the park. Mm -hmm. like, where are they gonna sleep? You got an apartment, where are they gonna sleep? By then, I have a mansion, so. Okay. <laughs> shit. The money ain't stopping just because y'all break up. Oh, I said that. I said we're gonna break up. No. <laughs> if we broke up, who's more likely to try and sabotage the other person's next relationship? Oh, these questions are tough, y'all. I think Natalie. I think Natalie would sabotage Easy's. Easy's a jealous ass person. We get that. But Natalie is territorial. I feel that Natalie would be like, I don't want to be with Easy, but nobody else can be with Easy. You know, that type of vibe. Natalie. Yeah, for sure. Why do you think that? Natalie, for sure. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. For now. Yes. I wouldn't even have time to sabotage. I would be too busy loving myself. What? And you would be hurt, first off. If I broke up with you, <laughs> if you would definitely try to sabotage my next girl. If you sure. broke up with me, by the time you got to your next girl, I would literally not even talk to you. Right, facts. Ooh. So there is no, I'm like a horse in a race. What kind of race? race? In, a, in a race. Okay. Like the <laughs> Kentucky Derby. Okay, I don't right. know if it was a horse so, in the you know when they have the blinders on <laughs> oh. and they can't see or not, the, I would literally not be able to see her anymore. It would be like this. Eyes on the prize. 
Get out of here with your eyes on the prize head. If we broke up, who would be the one to announce it? For sure, because oh Easy, Easy is so emotional and she spurred the moment. It's gonna go straight to Instagram, straight to Twitter, straight to Facebook if she got one, and let everyone know how hurt she is. Literally the day of, I swear. No, probably the, oh, no, probably the day of, I'm telling y'all, y'all would be the first to know. Y'all would probably know before I know. Yo. All right, and she would be tweeting it in the moment of us breaking up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's over. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna lobby first. You already know. You already know. For I'm sure. the type of person who She's I like street. to just take my time with stuff. My emotions are my emotions. When yeah. I'm ready for everyone to know about stuff, y'all know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I can see that. She got trigger fingers. Twitter yeah. fingers, as I should say. <laughs> if we broke up, who would still be cool with the fam? Both of y'all. Oh, I was thinking Easy and Natalie fans. But cool with the fam? Okay. Foxy loves me yeah. and your grandparents love me, so you would still have to see me at Christmases, at birthdays, maybe not yours. You're gonna basically have to introduce your new girl to me as a part of the family. I'm just and y'all already know, Natalie's family would be straight okay with not having a relationship with Easy, because y'all know there's always drama. Be around. Me and me and my Foxy are like this. Yeah, definitely for sure, for sure. If we broke up, would we still remain best friends? I don't oh, say best baby. friends. Like, oh, no, cause we. I think acquaintances. I think they would hit each other up every now and then just to see how they're doing. But that's it. That's tough. We're deep in it, baby. But then are again, we deep or not we're deep. Like deep. deep in them guts. <laughs> Anyway, it, it would be tough because we are so in love, but yeah. then at the same time, she really and truly is my best friend. Like, y'all don't see us when the cameras are off. Y'all yeah. see such a small percentage of our lives. A little, little bit. Yeah, they, they used to, do. They used to see it when we were just best friends and we didn't have a YouTube. I know, see I more. know, I know. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, y'all can only see what we show you. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it's literally all we do is clown and crack jokes all day, every day. I think that we wouldn't remain best friends at first. Yeah. But I think maybe after a few years when we probably both moved on and healed and all of that, we probably would get hella close again. Yeah. And it would probably be an issue. It would be an issue. Day. I was going to say, good luck with that. Yeah, that she be cheating on her next person. <laughs> I was gonna say, good luck with that. Your partners would not be okay with it. She have an issue staying faithful. Period. You gonna have an issue staying faithful. Period. <laughs> if we broke up, do we have a plan B? Ooh, oh, here's the prank. The prank begins. Yeah, not like that. Like, do we have backup plans? Oh, like, who we, like, what would happen? I mean, I never thought about a backup plan, but I guess, no, like you I never mean, thought of one. No, like what? who thinks? If you think like that, I feel like you're planning for your your your, your I guess your relationship to fail. Mm -hmm. No you know? way. I like honestly having a plan. either that or you have a little crush on somebody else while you're in a relationship, and that is never good. The plan is the most responsible way to be. Like, well, I guess like <laughs> if we like our YouTube channel, like our no, I, like literally like who you would go to next, like who you would date next. Oh, hell no! <laughs> no, hell no, no! Why would I? That's just like, all right, I'm over here scoping girls out on Instagram or something like that. Like, all right, me and Nelly break up. Or right. Or her damn, her damn. That's the problem. Yeah, like, no, who does that? Right. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like, that sounds romantic and all, but I'm a little more practical. Like, I literally Shit. have plan Bs. Baby, you know I have plan B? Like, how would you have plan B? You know who you would date? Or like, yes. you know? like I literally know Ooh. who would, who's one, attractive enough, who seems like, you know, they would be make a good match. You know what I'm saying? Wait, we're not. Why? Bro, oh, I'm not about to, you serious right now? Like, you serious? I promise. Why would I, I'm, I'm serious, that's normal. <laughs> People do that. I'm Bro, actually no. surprised that you don't have a plan Whoa, B. Whoa, what do you mean? What, what do you say, plan B, probably C, A, Well, there's B. a few that have caught my eye while we've been together that <laughs> a are few. Like, if me and Easy didn't work out, I would probably give them a shot. Say swear, say swear. You're smiling. I'm, <laughs> I'm just, so, it's so weird that you think I'm joking. I thought you would say that. Why would you say that? 
Well, no, it's like you said, we gonna work. Bro, out. we're not putting we're not. that in there, bro. We're not putting that in there. We're not. You literally. Why would you? Why would you have a plan B? That's literally like you're hoping this is gonna fail. I, I'm not hoping, but I'm prepared if it does. Bro. Success is when preparation meets opportunity. And if I ever had the opportunity to okay, be who? single again, I would. Who would you literally have a plan B with? And would you even go back to men or women? Like, bro, I don't know how <laughs> I'm gonna go back to men. We're not putting this in there. No, yes, we oh, stop. Yes, we are. It's a question. It's fun. Honestly, my plan B would probably be here we go. Amber, Amber's closet, and then my plan Amber's C cute. would probably be Stevie. I don't know who that have is. Brisa in there, but she's married. What? Keep going with your list, girl. Name all her they're friends. Cute. They're super cute. So you're talking about those your plan B and C? You said you would go to Krista, but she's but married. But she's married. That's why I said she, Krista's cute too, but I would never because she's married. So you've been looking at my friends, bro? Are you cute? Ooh. Bro, stop playing. Ooh. You say so you really, don't say like that. So, oh. Don't say this like that. I don't know why you're acting like that. Acting like what? Why would you say that? Weird. So you've been looking at my friends, bro? I'm I know that all the girls that I've ever cute and that they're sweet. Bro, don't say That's that shit. it. Yo, don't say that again, bro. <laughs> don't say that again. Bro. We're not filming this. We're not posting this. Period. I don't care, bro. That's disrespectful for eating. Okay, fine. I'll let you maybe slot. This is staged. Easy's a good actress, but she's kind of sucking with this one. What a freaking plan B. But the fact that you say my friends. But it has to not be your friends. There's only so many people in the gay community. Like, who would you go to? <laughs> it has to be somebody that already is making content because then I would start a channel with them too. Oh, you know God what I'm damn. It makes sense to just go to like, somebody who's not an influencer. So you've been looking at my friends. <laughs> yes or no? They just happen to be your it's friends. It's funny. It's funny. I was looking at them before they were even your friends. Damn. We're not posting this shit. I've never felt this weird with you ever in my life. Bro, I don't even want you around my friends. It's not funny. I don't want you around my friends. Period. And wow. Then, like, bro, what? That's like me saying that about Jasmine, bro. Keep it. You really literally think about that, bro. said that me and Jasmine are like the same person and how we look exactly bro, the same. And you're super never, attracted bro. to me. So bro. that must mean you're super mm. attracted to Jasmine. Mm. I think Jasmine is cute, but that's not my friend. That's weird, bro. That's not, I'm not, I wouldn't say that shit. That's so weird, bro. Like, why would you say that about my friends? Now, and the thing is, the last thing that I am is insecure. And me thinking like, insecure. I'm not acting insecure, bro. The fact that I literally have my friends around you and you over here plotting and scheming, bro. Oh my God, now you're being dramatic. I'm not plotting. Yes, you are. <laughs> I literally left my friends in the room with you by yourself because I'm that secure. A lot of girls don't do that. Like, a lot of girls won't even give their, their friends, their girlfriend's number because they're that insecure. Bro, we are friends. We're best friends. And you say you're talking about you got plan B with my homies? Stop smiling, bro. Cause, bro, I swear to God, bro. Hey, this might not be staged. This might not be staged. I think what happened was that Easy was playing it off. She's like, okay, I'm gonna act this out because she's probably joking. Then she was no, she was realizing that, wait, Natalie's not joking. Like she keeps going with this, like what the fuck? Cause now you can tell her tone of voice has gotten a little bit lower. So now I feel like it's real. Weird, bro. You're weird, bro. Ooh. You're so weird. Easy, I'm joking. Obviously. What is wrong with you? Of yeah. course my plan B Yeah, this wasn't staged, this was real. not your friends. My plan B and C, are my friend. No, I'm just like, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. No, I don't have a I don't have a plan B. Yeah. I'm, I'm wrong. Stop, don't cut the camera. Stop, I'm serious. Come here, come here, cut the camera. Okay. I'm right. so, so why would you say that on camera? I was joking. It's a prank. How is it? We literally just did a whole chat. I, I know. Text, I texted these people. They texted me. How is it a prank? Okay, but I had to throw a prank question and answer in there. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> she ain't like that way, y'all. Hey, look at me. I'm literally looking dumb right now. I'm like, that'll never happen. Showed me the footage, y'all. She showed me the footage. All right, I believe you. I 
I was just jealous. I ain't think he's gonna throw that in there like that. Yes, uh, you gotta stay on your P's and Q's. Jeez. Stay on your toes you with Natalie you... Odell. Okay, sign us out. You just said you like challenges more than you like pranking me, bro. I said I might. <laughs> pranking game is too fun. Sign, 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 sign out, out, please. Already the game. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're the list couples on YouTube and best friends. You know what I'm saying? Dion. Wanda, Dion. All right, y'all, make sure y'all subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and spam the comments. That All right. Pop up on your feed, okay? Do Always what you got to do to support them. Game. Oh, and TikTok. Nizi Gang, we are out. And do what you got to do to support me as well. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.